this perspective of a scientist on the world around us make me also worry. Nowadays, we buy new gadgets not because they had become obsolete due to a newer technology, but probably because a screen got cheap, the battery dead, or just something got a better design. It was not the same 10, 20 years ago where the technology moved very fast forward and gadgets become really obsolete very soon. What happened that during the last few decades we are living on leftovers of previous disruptive technologies. We have used the previous scientific knowledge to full extent and now we are just tinkering at the edges of those great disruptive technologies we had before. When most people look for a new gadget like a mobile phone, a computer or something similar, they look for new features, more powerful software, better design. When I see any of such gadgets, I always amazed how such small space can be packed with such amount of scientific knowledge. Its discoveries of the 19th century and the first half of the 20th century which made these things possible. In some cases, like error code corrections, it goes to mathematics 200 years old. In other cases, like the physics behind the silicon transistor, it's a relatively young area, only 70 years old. It tells you how long does it take between academic research and a gadget made by industry. Without a fundamentally new technology, a basic axiom of economics is that economy cannot grow. Its steady state should be zero growth, it means stagnation. The growth is provided only when there is a new fundamental technology on the rise, a set of disruptive technologies or some general purpose technology like the steam engine, like the transistor, internet, wireless and so on. Where the next technological revolution come from? I desperately look around for new disruptive technologies and I see very few candidates on the horizon. Graphene does offer some hope. During the last few years, we learned a lot about this material to judge confidently about its future potential. With so many superlatives to its name, like the thinnest, the strongest, the most conductive material, graphene has become one of the hottest subjects in science. Thousands of researchers voted with their feet, actually more with their professional lives and moved into this newly discovered research area. The material has turned out to be so pervasive that within just a few years it spread from material science and physics into the areas as distant as biology and genetics. No one is able to accurately predict the future, but with so many potential technologies that have already been demonstrated for the case of graphene, chances of this material are sky high to lead to new important technologies. So, among everything I know, graphene is my best bet for the next disruptive technology.